Here is Craig Button, and usually when you do this at Christmas and predict the tournament, at least you've seen long camps and you've seen the junior players or the college players playing during the fall. This is tough. It is summer hockey. Guys haven't played in months, so it could be a completely wild card tournament. But what you've done is gone through and predicted where everyone will finish, one through ten. So let's have a look at it. Your gold medal winner, according to Craig Button, will be the Swedes. It would be only their third win ever. Remember, they haven't won gold since Alberta back in 2012 when Zabanajad scored the OT winner, Finland getting the silver, the Canadians getting the bronze, U.S. out of the medals in fourth, and down the list they go. Let's start with Sweden. What do you see about the Swedish team that you think they can break through in the medal round, which they haven't done in a long time? Three things. Outstanding goaltender in Jesper Wallstad. A defense led by Simon Ed Edvinson, who's so outstanding in so many regards. But they have a lot of size. They have skating ability. They have enough offense. That's going to be a tough team to score on. And they have enough offense, James. Mm -hmm. They have some really good. You see LaCara Mackey in that game versus Canada on Monday. They got some skill there where they can take advantage. But they're going to be really tough to score on. I think that they have a terrific chance to merge with gold. Been one of the stories of this tournament. Remember, they had that 54-game winning streak in group play that was snapped with an OT loss in Russia back in the 2021 tournament. So Canada winning the bronze, which would be a decent performance, but obviously you see something lacking in them. What is it? Two things. Owen Power and Caden Gooley. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about defensemen that really can play half the game. You know, one can play 25 to 30 minutes. The other guy can play 20. But it's not just what they bring to the game. It's how they support everybody around them. Like, they're such pillars that they strengthen the whole blue line. They lift up everybody around them. They don't have anybody like that. They don't have those go-to top-end defensemen. So we can talk about defense by committee and everything. Mm -hmm. When you're missing those two elite defensemen that can gobble up minutes and really contribute in so many different areas of the game, I think that that right now is a shortfall for Canada. It's strange seeing an international hockey term without Owen Power after he played in basically <laughs> every one world championships, the start of that World Juniors, the Olympics last year for Canada, next stop Buffalo in the National Hockey League. Latvia versus Canada, 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 Pacific for their first game tomorrow.